Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. And this week, not so much of a hard sell, just a little reminder, a bit of a public service announcement. Now, if you've been stuck on 80 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters looking for that DX, well, guess what? 10 meters is back and back with a vengeance. And if you've not been on 10 meters, say you're a newcomer to the hobby, for example, we're gonna take a little look at the 10 meter band and what it's got to offer. So Henry, let's take a look at the screen. So obviously with the 7610, we've got the monitor out on here. So we'll get Henry to set this up so that you can see what's going on as we discuss the, uh, the band and what it offers, basically. So starting at 28 megahertz, the lower portion of the band, as we move up, you'll notice we've got the CW signals here. And there's plenty of room for everyone to enjoy either working DX or local contacts. And, and that's the great thing with 10 meters is the band's great. The propagation changes all the time. You've got sporadic E, you've got F2 propagation as well. You can kind of get a mix of uh, sporadic E and F2, which means distances you're getting can go far, far, far wide. Uh, also great for Aurora and also Tropo. So the good thing with the Aurora on 10 as well, unlike six meters, is there's not so much distortion on it. So if you've never worked Aurora, get those beams pointing north and uh, well, now's about the right time to be doing it. But anyway, as I said, lower portion of the band, CW. So we'll work up from there. As, as you can see, there's plenty of, plenty of room. Loads of contacts going on here. And then we'll work our way up and you get to around 28, 100-ish. And let's see if we can do this. I've got a, a little bit of QRM. Now I'm not seeing much on here at the moment, but basically from 28, 100 up is the beacon part of the network. And those will be either the timed beacon service or they can actually be beacons from individuals as well. So by all means, keep watching the screen now and see if you notice any beacons popping up. There is some activity along here, as you can see. So as I said, they can either be the time service or can be from the individuals putting beacons up. I know there's a lot of guys in Italy that run beacons and a lot of guys stateside as well. Okay, going up from there, we're going to be going up to around about 28,300, where basically all modes can happen there. And you can have also have automatically controlled data stations. So we move up from there. Let's see if we can find some activity. So there we go. There's a little bit of activity there. And we're going to go up to uh, 28,300 now. There we go. I'll leave it in CW mode for now. I'll just as you can see there some activity there as well with the beacon still. So as again, this is all modes. Uh, that runs through up to about uh, 28, 320, and then you run all modes continuously through there. So you're going to get your QRP, even digital voice as well. So we'll go up, we'll tell you what, we'll change it over to a USB. There we go. So, as you can hear straight away, I mean, we're recording this at uh, around about half past three now in the UK in the afternoon. And we've got the stateside coming through. And uh, to be honest with you, that's on the back of the beam. <laughs> so it goes to show you what an amazing band it is. But as I said, 28,300 now, and this runs all the way up to 29 megs. It's basically all modes. As I said, you can have digital modes. So for example, if you're running an ICOM, you can run D-Star on here. Just obviously check the frequency allocations. Just turn that down so you can still hear me. But you check your frequency allocations, but give it a go. There's a, a good group of guys in the US that are working D-Star uh, on 10 meters. So it's worth a try. Right, moving along, we'll see what's on the band and we'll see if we can spot some propagation. Let's uh, just change this so it's a bit quicker. So probably what you can tell as well is the audio is beautiful in 10 meters. For some reason, it just seems very, very crystal clear when you get a, a good solid contact. So, again, there we go. Signals again coming over from stateside, or North America. Really, really good. It's unbelievable. 
And as I said, with, with the extra room that you get on 10 meters, there's none of that craziness that you're going to get on 20 meters, you know, <laughs> when the world is out there just all shouting at each other. You've got plenty of room to hold, you know, a nice rag chew like these guys here. Or if you want to work a pile up, there's plenty of room if you want to work split as well. So there's no issues there. So talk, talking of DX as I move this along, uh, I mean, today alone we had J52 stations calling through, 9 kilos. Uh, also a lot of JA stations were going coming across this morning. Um, we worked uh, into Africa a couple of times, uh, ZS, ZS stations. Plenty of room. Uh, most of the activity on sideband is going to be USB. Now, if you go up higher into the band, as we will do later, there is actually quite a bit of AM activity which goes on. So, there's quite a few guys in Italy, and they run a nice little group that operate AM, and they also operate really, really low power. So we're talking milliwatts, and they do AM transmissions in milliwatts. So we'll leave him for now and move along. It's always the way. I thought you was on the radio for a moment there, Henry. <laughs> so conditions are fairly strong as you can see. Let's move up to this guy. And it. And as usual, he stops. Look, I mean, what a beautiful band for a rag chew. I mean, you, you might pop on two meters, for example, and just have a rag chew. I mean, you know, we've gone across here so far. No one's shouting out five and nine, thank you, five and nine, thank you. They're all having a lovely little chat on 10 meters. So here we go. Looks as if we might have a fair bit of activity up on this band. Now, uh, 28500 is what's noted down as the calling frequency for the 10 meter band so what you'll find is if the band does seem fairly quiet someone might put a call out on 28500 and then move from that frequency but it's a good indication if you you know you want to see if anyone's calling so oh, there we go. So our beam is completely in the wrong direction there, but with the band being as up as it is at the moment, that's a Victor Papa 9 station in Bermuda on 28430. Here we go. There we go, so Victor Papa 9, India in November. And a lovely pile up for him as well. <laughs> we were trying to work him yesterday actually and I did fail. So maybe later we can hurry up Henry, I can get, get, get down and work him. So let's move along. So there you go, so we've had Bermuda, North America, a lot of guys from Eastern Europe as well, we've heard so far. Oh, I think he needs to adjust his hang time there. Okay, so we've got a. So he's got a lovely part of there. So the Sierra Victor station, as you know, is uh, probably down Greece way. And there's a lovely signal there, nice solid S9. We've got Victor Alpha stations called in as well from Canada. Uh, and with regards to. Uh, Greek stations, we actually worked a Greek station on FM. So that's the beauty of the band, a lovely five and nine signal both ways on FM and that was yesterday. But uh, maybe I'll get Henry to pop a little clip on of that if we can't find any FM on our little journey on 10 meters today. So we'll move across. Whoa.
we're going to go. So as you can see, it's kind of like we're operating on six meters as well, as well in a way that the bank conditions change so much that sometimes, you know, you can be calling into queue and already an existing QSO will pop up due to the propagation, as you can probably see with these guys here. So, you know, it can be fairly exciting, but just be aware of that if you're operating. There we go. So he has noticed that he's getting a, he's getting a bit of QRM, but he's not, he's not prepared to move. Anyway, let's move along. So, you know, for those that say 10 meters is dead, we don't ever hear anything on 10 meters, I don't bother going up there, you know, take a little look. You know, the sunspot cycle is changing. And that's a great thing, especially on 10 meters. For those of us that have been licensed, you know, for over a decade or longer, we've been through the a cycles already and we know what 10 meters can do. And, and you only need minimal antennas. That's a good thing. You know, many a time I've been operating 10 meters mobile from the car, worked into China on FM, uh, worked VKs quite easily. And, and stateside's always been a, a bit of a blast on 10 meters in the car. Um, alternatively, obviously, you can get a beam up. It's a small antenna for a beam, so a two or three element beam, maybe even a Moxon, and you can fill it into your average size garden. You know, it's the great thing about 10 meters. Anyway, let's move up. I think that's enough of the USB. We've got all of this as USB still, as you can see. So there you go, Texas coming through. So for those of you who know your geography, that's a, a bit of a trip coming here into the UK. And a beautiful cigar, so as I said, the beam is, this is all on the back of the beam, so. There we go. Right, now let's uh, switch it up to FM. And we're going to go and see if we can get anything. So basically, calling frequency on FM is 29600. So you can see what big band it is, by how much we're moving this. Uh, 29600. Drop the squelch down a little bit. Now, can't see it. Oh, might have a little bit of activity there. So we go drop back. Just The thing is, you want to drop back a bit on FM. So, most of the simplex stuff, you put a call out on 600 and then drop down basically. So, you'd go to the 590, 580. And I've not got much simplex happening at the moment. But I'll get uh, Henry to put an example down of uh, an FM station coming through. Now, 620 is a great frequency in that. This is the one of the repeaters in the US. So... This has been coming through quite clear lately. There we go. So it's... Let's we'll see if anyone works into that. But basically what you want to do with 10 meter repeaters is they work, uh, TX frequency is 100 hertz below your listening frequency. And a lot of them won't run CTCSS. So someone who's trying, as I said, you've got your FM part 29, 600 calling frequency, a little bit below that if you're working simplex, and then you've got your repeaters running up from, I think it's uh, around about 610 upwards. Um, it's basically simplex repeaters, so you've got your inputs and your outputs, parrot repeaters, and then 620 through to 700 is going to be your sort of standard repeaters with your 100 kilohertz shifts down. So a bit of a shame we haven't heard anyone calling through on the repeater, but you know, it is there and I will show a little clip as well. I'll get Henry to add a little clip on there over the top for you. Golf 2, Mike Lima, G2ML listening. Uh, this is Golf 2 Mike Lima, and uh, nameless end is Tony, Tango Oscar November Yankee, QSL. Very good, Tango Oscar. I what you just said, I couldn't write it out fast enough. 
up. But I'm getting you Q9 into the, or F9 into the repeater, and uh, Q5 into the repeater, I should say. GQML, this is Tom in uh, North Dakota, AE0HR. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, QSL, Tom, QSL, Tom. You're also Q5, uh, a lot of QS Baker at the moment, but uh, on, on peak, the repeater's uh, a nice solid S9 here uh, near to uh, Heathrow Airport in the UK. QSL? QSL, QSL, you were solid that time. I'm going to log you into QRZ. Uh, QRZ, yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is the uh, the club station for the Martin Lynch uh, shop over here in the UK. So I won't hold it up and let some other guys work the repeater. So 73 to you, Tom, and many thanks. Very good. Thanks. Uh, thanks very much. T2ML73. Have a great day. Bye-bye. AE0HR. So... That's kind of 10 metres, a very brief introduction to 10 metres if you've never been on the band. Get on there. Don't waste your time. It's amazing. Come the evenings again, you're going to be working DX stations. Got a big run up now through to the summer and the band's only going to get better. So get on early, learn how the band works, learn how the propagation is and get onto it. And if you say to me, well, I've never been on 10 meters. I don't know about 10 meters. Put it this way. Look, I see 7610. 10 meters as standard. 705. 10 meters as standard. Portable. And the good thing with 10 meters is it's one of those bands that they kind of say is a magic band like six meters in the fact that you only need a little bit of power. A little bit of power, simple antennas. I'll give an example. I've used the predecessor to this, the 5105, but the Zygu 6100. You can get a cheap 10 meter whip, which you can put on telescopic, get out and about, use it as a handheld and you will work stuff. Trust me, if the band's open, you've got my... Uh, my word on that, that you will work a station. If you can get yourself onto a hill on 10 meters and the band's open like that, then you will work a station, definitely. So 7300, guess what? Also got 10 meters on it. 7100, 10 meters on it. Little 818, get yourself out and about, as I said, 10 meters on it. 991A, 10 meters. 891, 10 meters. Good thing with the 891, Henry, if I run around here and surprise you. ATAS, pop it on, 10 meters on it. No problems whatsoever. So you can go mobile, as I was saying, great fun 10 meter mobile. If you've got an 8900 or a used 8900, now this is gonna fall, so I'm gonna hold it. If you've got a used 8900, for example, 10 meters FM, brilliant. You could be working a repeater in the States. DX10, funny enough, got 10 meters on it as well. 710, this great little radio. You know, just over a thousand pounds for the 710. Again, 10 meters on it. 101 MP, 10 meters on it. I could keep walking around, but I'm not, I'm gonna stop there because it's not about a hard sell today. Anyway, get yourselves on the band. We'll be on it all week. So I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear you working stuff. I wanna see you on the cluster. Anyway, take care and see you soon. Bye.